how do you study your Bible? Many of us face some certain problem or issues when we try to study the Bible. You just can't find where to study. You don't know where to study. This book is just so big. Well, well, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my mobile phone. Yes, it's always with me. So I will get my Bible and I'll always study it. Now, let me try to study my Bible using my mobile phone. Oh my God. Uh, I just received a notification on Facebook. Let me quickly check it. Oh my god, and I'm still distracted again. <sighs> I guess I'm just frustrated. I can't really understand anything in the Bible. <sighs> Well, if you are facing these challenges, if you are facing this issue, this video is for you. Um, we're going to talk about how to study the Bible with the fire of God. we are going to know how to study the Bible effectively. Well, if you follow me to the very end of this video, I'm going to give you a secret that will enable you to study the Bible effectively. So let's jump right into the video. Hello bedroom, welcome back. My name is Sufme Tobi and this is the Living Flames of Fire. If you desire to grow spiritually and to grow deeper in the knowledge of Christ, this is the right place for you. Here in this channel, we we'll talk about everything concerning the Christian faith. So I want to advise you to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon so you will never miss any of our video content. Yes, today we're talking about how to study with fire, how to study your Bible with the fire of God. Yes, the word of God is very important. Um, if you can't live with the word of God, if you can't live by the word of God, if you don't have the word of God in you, then you are not going to survive here on earth because the only thing that keeps every believer in the path of God and in God is the word of God. Even Jesus Christ couldn't survive here on earth without the word of God. When the devil tempted him, he was able to overcome the temptations of the devil because he knew the word of God. So if you can't study the word of God, um, the devil is going to play and is going to mess with your life. And also the word of God is very powerful. If you want to see results, in your life then you should try practicing and studying the word of god the word of god covers every aspect of a human life that means you're not going to go astray if you know the truth of god's word and it is very difficult for the enemy or for anyone to deceive you if you know the truths of god's word so most times christians find it very difficult to study their bible so there's no balance in their christian life everything is falling apart everything is going haywire there's no stability and they don't know where they are going because they don't know the content of the Bible, they don't know how to study the Bible, they don't know the, God, the Word of God. And today in this video, I'm going to be giving you some steps and some points that will help you study the Bible with fire effectively. How do you study with fire? How do you study the Bible effectively? Um, take note of this point I'm going to give you. They are very important. They are going to guide you as you try to study the Word of God. One, you want to create a schedule, a daily schedule. Yes, if you don't create a daily schedule, it's very easy for you to forget that you have to study the Word of God. The Bible have made us known that the word of God is like bread. If we don't feed on the word of God daily, then we will become malnourished. Our spirit being will become malnourished. So you have to create a schedule um, that fits you, that works for you, where you can study the Bible. You have time to study the Bible effectively. If you don't have a schedule, then you are going to be missing out and you are not going to and you're not going to be able to meet up or to keep up studying the Bible. Number two, you want to have a Bible plan. Yes, so many people don't study the Bible with a Bible plan. They study the Bible haphazardly and today they are reading Revelations, tomorrow they are reading Genesis and tomorrow they are in Psalms and they are, on the next day they are in Leviticus and they keep studying the Bible this way and it is not working. You are not going to understand anything you are studying. Um, this is the worst way for you to study the Bible. So create a Bible plan and there are many tools out there that will help you study your Bible effectively with a plan. So have a Bible plan and it will really guide you in studying the scriptures. Three is study and meditating. Yes, this is one of the very most powerful way to study the Bible. Most Christians today, they read the Bible, they just glance through the Bible quickly and they go their way without meditating on the word of God. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 have told us that we should study the Bible and meditate on the word of God. It is only then we're going to see the result you desire in our life so you need to learn how to study 
the Bible and to meditate on the Word of God. After studying the Bible, take out time to think, to reflect on those words. How are you going to apply those words you have learned in your life? What is the Holy Spirit trying to teach you? How are you going to use this word you have learned to better the life of other people? What really is the meaning of this word? So you are going to look at the Word of God you have just studied from different perspective, from different angle, trying to put everything together so you can you have a firm understanding of what the Bible is trying to say um, about that particular verse or that particular passage you just read. So meditation is very powerful. If you are not doing it before, I would advise you to go back and start meditating on the Word of God. And also, you have to allow the Holy Spirit to open up the revelation of God's Word to you. In Daniel chapter 9 verse 2, as Daniel was studying the writings of the prophet, he found out by the revelation of God that they have exceeded the time they were supposed to spend in Babylon. Yes, such powerful revelation was opened up to him when he decided to study so when you study the scriptures and um, you know you are engaging in spiritual business it's no longer physical if you try to look at the Bible from the physical standpoint of view you are not going to understand everything is going to be very confusing and it's going to be very difficult to understand because the words that are written in this book are life and spirit so it only takes the Holy Spirit to open up these words to you so it goes beyond meditation even if you are meditating on God's word you need to allow the Holy Spirit to open up the revelation of God's word to you and when the revelation of God's word is open to you it is very easy for you to practicalize it you cannot practice the word of God because it is now based on revelation and also you have to study the Bible with purpose you don't study the Bible because you just want to study the Bible or so that you won't lose your streak in the Bible app or just because um, it's a good thing to study the Bible you study the Bible because you want to get into purpose. In Matthew chapter 4 verse 4, the Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. This was Jesus quoting the scripture from Deuteronomy when he was faced with temptation. And this should prove to us that there's a purpose for every scripture in the Bible. So if you study the Bible without purpose, it is very easy for you to take the word of God for granted. Every word and every scripture that is written is written for a particular purpose. Now when you put this things into your life, when you put your life into the scriptures, it is very easy for you to walk in the direction of God, then you will not lose focus, you will not lose sight, you will always be on track, you will know where you are going to and you will not be confused in life if you study the Bible with purpose. The next is studying with prayer, which is one of the most powerful ways to study the scriptures. Um, when you study the scriptures without praying, the devil can steal it from your heart. The devil can steal the things that you have learned from the Bible from your heart. That is why it is very powerful for you to engage in prayer. Immediately you just study the word of God. This will help you to pray the word of God into your life. So if you are not studying the Bible with prayer, I think it is something you need to start doing from today. I think next is to study and practice. You don't just study the Bible but you put it into practice. James chapter 1 verse 22 says, do not be hearers of the word alone but be hearers and doers of God's word. So if you put the Bible into practice, that is only when you see results in your life. So most people are complaining today, they are saying, Lord, I have been reading the Bible, I have been studying the scripture but yet my life is not changing, yet my life is not transforming. I don't know what is wrong, I don't know what's the problem. Um, the simple truth is that you are not putting the word of God into practice. It is very easy to study the Bible Bible, but it is very difficult, very, very difficult to put the Bible, to put the Word of God into practice. And the easiest way for you to do that is just to apply the Word of God to every aspect of your life, to your finances, to your marriage, to the to education, to every, every aspect of your life. That is the easiest way for you to put the Word of God into practice. After doing all this, um, you need what I call the touch of fire. Yes, it is very, very important. It is the only way for you to study the scriptures with the fire of God. Yeah. What is the touch of fire? It is the Holy Spirit's touch upon your life that enables you to study the Bible without you struggling with yourself. When the Holy Spirit has planted the fire of God in your heart, it is very easy for you to go through all these things I just listed in this scripture. You begin to see that the word of God will be opening, will be opened up to you. Light in the word of God will be opened up to you. Revelation and deep mysteries will be opened up to you. 
you when there's a touch of fire in your heart and the only way for, and the only way for you um, to receive this touch of fire is to be baptized with the Holy Ghost and if you are not in Christ if you have not given your life to Christ um, there's no way you can get into some deep spiritual experience so the first step is to give your life to Christ receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and allow him to plant that fire in your heart then you see that studying the scriptures will be very 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 easy now you want to know the secrets my secret of studying the Bible what have helped me in the long run of studying the Bible if you want to know the secret the secret is using your mobile device your mobile device is always with you wherever you go whenever wherever you are you always have your mobile devices with you so having your Bible in your phone is not a bad idea so the Holy Spirit can just lay something in your heart and you can get your mobile device and quickly check what it is in the scripture I've used the Bible soap app and um, you can find the app in the Play Store or in the Apple Store you can download the app and it will really help you in that app there's a section for you to write what you have studied there's a section for you to write down your observation to write how you're going to apply the word of God into your life there's a section for you to also write the prayer you have gotten from that place you have just read in the Bible and most of all this I also have a two-year Bible plan that will enable you finish the whole Bible um, it's very it's a very wonderful app though I've tried other app books but this one stands out for me you can also check out other apps. so what works for you I would love to see it in in the comment section so drop it in the comment section below so others can also benefit from that so if you have learned something very powerful from this video if you are blessed by this video i would love it to drop a to drop a comment hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and most importantly share this video to your friends and your family and to everybody you feel will benefit from this video thank you again for watching this video i'll see you in the next video